Hi. Today I wanted to film a video about a Portland, some Portland leather goods um, items that I re recently unboxed. There's the box for them. You can see they're relatively new. I got them earlier this week, but the two items are uh, in the back, the mini envelope wallet in black and the in the front here, the envelope convertible crossbody bag in nutmeg. And so um, let's just start with this one. This is the mini envelope wallet in black. It's not pebbled. It's smooth, and I have not put any cards in it yet, but I assume this can hold quite a few cards. I think it will hold business cards and um, credit cards, and I would guess it would hold upwards of 10 credit cards quite easily. For size comparison, I just wanna show you, here's a regular size pen held up against this. So this is not, it's not a very big item. Here's the back, here's the front, pretty small. Slightly bigger than a credit card or a business card, um, but does expand on the inside to hold, there's two pockets here. We'll hold quite a few uh, business cards or credit cards or cash that's folded. So that's that item. And this one, the envelope convertible crossbody in nutmeg. The reason I wanted to film this video is because when I was thinking about buying this item on Portland Leather Goods website, I couldn't find any videos on it. And I was curious about how big it was. I know they give the dimensions right on the website, but it's hard for me to visualize you know, what would actually fit in there. So I'd like to show you what I have been putting in mind and how big it is. For size comparison, again, here's a pen. Okay, this, this is not a large item. Here's a Burt's Bees uh, chapstick, I guess, or, you know, lip balm, whatever you want to call it, not very big. Here's a really small, Swiss Army knife that I fit in the bag. Again, this is not a huge bag, but it does make a great uh, wallet on a string, if you will. It comes with a wrist strap that snaps on and off right here so it's detachable. You can move it to either side or just take it off if you want. It also comes with a pretty long crossbody strap that matches and it's on this sort of endless loop so you can adjust it. I have it adjusted as short as it will go right now, but I've also used it as long as it would go. Um, you know, you can attach it to these rings on the sides and carry it as a crossbody, uh, I would say, wallet. So the front, the closure snaps like that. And the back has a zipper pocket with a YKK zipper and it is branded on the back it says portland leather goods i don't know if that's coming in the leather is beautiful on this bag and i'll talk more about that later in the back you can see i have <clears throat> i have a flash drive a business card and some change um the pocket opens pretty wide and it's secure because it has a zipper in the front there's a compartment for cash in right here. So I have some cash in there and it, it looks like it's meant to hold cash because it's just deep enough where the cash won't go down any further. In front of that, there are some built-in credit card slots, four slots, and in each of those, I have two credit cards fit in there. So right now there's eight credit cards or you know insurance cards, whatever, in there. And you could probably fit more than two in each slot. That's just what I happen to have. Then beneath that slot, there's a, a deeper compartment that goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag. And in that, I fit all of this that's seen here. 
and I'll put that in there so you can see that it fits. And then in this front pocket, which is in front of the pocket I just talked about, this is where my phone, I put my phone, but I'm filming on my phone so I can't, I uh, can't show you that in the, in the slot today. So in this front slot, I'll put this down. It fit a small hand sanitizer in there. That small knife that I showed you earlier. Burt's Bees. Car key. Some keys and a hair tie on a carab carabiner, small one, pen. All that fits in there. And then in this front pocket would go my phone. So, there's a couple things that I'd like to say about this bag. I thought that it was gonna be a little larger than it was when I bought it. It's it's small, <clears throat> but it will expand, I think. It's unlined um, leather, and it's it, the leather is beautiful. It's really, really nice. So the one I bought is, um, like I said, in nutmeg. It's a pebbled leather, and it smells really good, like leather. Stronger than other colors of Portland leather good items that I've bought. Um, also stronger than this mini envelope wallet in black. The, the smell is not as strong of leather for that. This item happens to be an almost perfect item, but I don't see any, you know, any uh, important flaws on it. It's well made. It feels great to the touch. Um, I'm using it as a wallet, like a wallet on a string. I show you what it holds. Um, it's small, it has two straps, but I think it's extremely well made and I think it should last for a long time. So thanks for watching my video, bye.